Marie Julie Jehenny was born in 1850, um, and this was a Catholic mystic who lived in rural, small town France, in the northwest part of France. Um, and this was again back in the 1800s. She was she became pretty known through her apparitions into the late 1800s. She had our Lord Jesus and Mary both um, appearing to her, and that's where a lot of those messages came in that Debbie was just talking about, as well as the purple scapula. And she passed away at the age of 90, but it was at the age, I believe, I think she was 38 um, when she started receiving the stigmata. I believe that's the age that she was. But yeah, she she was a mystic and she also had the stigmata, the wounds of Christ. Um, so that was a really beautiful thing that she offered up throughout her life. She was a victim soul. I know sometimes we'll refer to them as victim souls. So living a, a, a sorrowful, suffering life for the sake of Christ, his church, and others. So a really, really beautiful French mystic and, and stigmatist from the 1800s. That's just a very brief uh, synopsis of who she was. But it was in 1878 in that small town in northwest France where Our Lady and Jesus himself appeared to the approved mystic. And she is approved by the church. We can get into that later. Um, but that's when they appeared to her in 1878. And in that apparition, they showed her the scapular, the purple scapular. And another name for that purple scapular is the scapular of benediction and protection. That's the other name for it. The scapular of benediction and protection. Um, but most people call it the purple scapular. Now, a lot of people ask, you know, what are the promises that are associated with this purple scapular? And this is what Our Lady herself promised Marie Julie about this scapular. She said, quote, those will see, they will see their family and home protected from fires and chastisements, storms and darkness. They will have light as if it were plain day. She also said, it'll be like a lightning rod beneath which the blows of divine wrath will not strike. And Jesus also revealed that those who reverently use this purple scapular will, quote, be spared the troubles of the soul and will be sheltered from danger as if they already possess heaven. So let's just stop there for a second. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. It really, <laughs> uh, those I are mean, it's very big, profound promises. There's a big promise, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what's interesting, you know, with those promises, it's not just for those who wear it. It's anyone who has possession of it. So with this particular scapular, if you look how big it is, you can wear it and people do wear it. And, and that's a beautiful thing, but you don't have to wear it. So unlike the brown scapular, for example, which I'm wearing one, that's, you know, a scapular that you'll wear uh, more often. But with the purple scapular, what most people do is they actually hang it up in their home in a prominent place in their home, maybe by the entryway, for example, um, or maybe in the living room, if that's where they pray. You could also have a couple different purple scapulars throughout your house. You can have them in your car. You can carry one around in your purse or your wallet. If you could fit that in your wallet, that's a pretty big wallet. But um, yeah, there's, you know, you could, you could put the purple scapular anywhere, anywhere, and you don't have to wear it uh, directly. You can, but you don't have to in order for you to receive the graces from it. Uh, which I thought was interesting as well. It protects everyone in the house when you have it. You know, yes. a brown scapular, that's a protection for us. The great thing right. about the purple scapular is we hang it up in our homes, and this is right. protecting everyone who's under our roof. Um, right. And uh, kind of keeps the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. You know, that's right. Which we definitely need now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Oh, I know. I that know. Especially with... Yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's what hit me was this is so important for the times that we're in right now you know with with everything just falling apart right like the you know the hu humanity is just losing its mind and we know that there's going to be you know darkness ahead the three days of darkness we i know a lot of the viewers and listeners are familiar with that the divine chastisements the whole timeline from countdown to the kingdom people have been following and we know that there's rough times ahead um, and so this purple scapular, in my opinion, I mean, it, it's a must have, you have to have this thing. Um, and that was the urgency for me to get them myself. 
And that was also the urgency for me to, you know, want to share the purple scapular and what it is and where it came from and the promises that it gives us um, with with the viewers tonight. It's it's an urgency that I sense, you know.